Um, I'd rather feed people than talk about feeding people. Hence the two coolers. This is like the uh, X Games of food. transcend our knife skills. Chefs have a new opportunity and perhaps even an obligation to inform the public about what is good to eat and why. But we ourselves need to learn much more about issues that are critical to our world. Culinary history, native flora, the relationship between food and the food supply system, sustainability, and the social significance of how we eat. There's no conflict, best part, there's no conflict between a better meal and a better world. It's unbelievable, he, he kind of takes the words right out of my mouth. He speaks of culture, connectedness, sustainability, artisanship. All these things are really important to, to chefs for us to, to spread our mission. But if you look at what they asked me to talk about, people, planet, and profit, he neglects profit. Um, social enterprise model, that's what it's about. If our restaurants did not make a profit, I wouldn't be here. Um, I know in the conservation movement, maybe a little bit in the food movement, making money is a bad thing, but it's not. So I'm going to show you, rather than talk about social enterprise, I'm going to take one activity that we do. Um, I don't know if it's an activity, uh, an example that we do at the restaurant that I think will do a good job at uh, painting the picture of social enterprise in a food sense. That is whole hog cookery. Whole hog butchery. Looking to the past, when people used to butcher their own food, preserve meat, taking those, what we knew then, for now and moving it into the future. I have to introduce someone. I hate to put you on the spot. Is Amy Shinsato sitting anywhere? There she is, everybody. Give Amy Shinsato a hand. I'll tell you why. Amy and her husband, Glenn, have Shinsato Hog Farm in Kahalu. It is the only USDA um, inspected hog farm on the on the on the island. They have about 200 head of Yorkshire cross hogs. We get one every two weeks. 75 to 80 breeders, imported grain. The sad part of the story is they have a daughter helps out on the farm. Does not want to be a hog farmer. <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot like that. You can talk to her about that. That's a whole other story. Um, like I was saying, we get two. We get a, a pig from them every two weeks. 180 pound pig. And I'm going to show you how looking back to the, looking to the back moves us into the future. From that pig, there's 11 pounds of skin. 
is a chicharron. We make 11 pounds of chicharron. Again, I buy this pig for $500. I could sell all this for $200. I've almost made my money back. Head. <laughs> Our ancestors used every last bit of everything. Here we have a whole head. It's been bowed out. You can see it rolled up. Here's a snout. I get I can get 70 orders of head cheese out of this at $20 a pop. What does that come out to? $1,400. Other things we make, and this isn't about to say what we what we make. I'm not tuning our own horn, but just giving you an example. Soprasata comes from Calabria in Italy. Hawaiian chili peppers, garlic, red wine. Chorizo, three kinds of paprika, red wine, and garlic. These are just examples. Capicola, capi meaning head, cola meaning neck, capicola head of the neck. In, in um, New York, they call it gabagool. Go figure. Capicola gabagool. And again, because I like to feed people more than oh, talk about feeding people, we've got some of this for you to try. Sorry. 